He tampered in God's domain. Ah, oh, my, 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 my. Ah. Trying to get my uh, operating glove on here. Not easy, not easy. All you people who are thinking, who are in the medical game, are thinking of getting into it, if you can afford the insurance. <laughs> I love the mess the world's in. Why should you be insured just because you're having your heart taken out or something? I mean, doctors uh, have to have some fun, you know. <clears throat> this is becoming very, very, very exhausting trying to... Uh, I keep finding things. You know how that is. You find things when you're going to throw things out and then you start playing around. I found some wonderful old... Oh, my, look at that. It's still uh, dripping a little there. Whoa, that's... Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, as I, I've often told you, I, I'm sure you've watched my experiments from me before. This extra thumb comes in very handy, and, and uh, that's why I like it. See, I can get it, I can get it underneath here, you see, and help, 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 help with the whole grip there, see. This is a brain. Uh, this is a brain. One brain is good, one man's brain is bad, you know. And the zombies, we're going to get into zombies here very, very quickly here. Let's see if I can get this thing. Yes, it's working, it's working. Here we go. Here we go. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a probe here. This originally was, uh, if you had trouble, uh, you know, in your uh, rear end, if I may use that expression, this is what they used to use it to cure it. And uh, if I probe here, we'll find... Is that... <laughs> I thought they were a little more anesthetized than that. <laughs> now, see, if I pull this back here, if it just opens up there, then this can... There, now, now in there... I... It'll calm down. Don't, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll quiet down. This, this is just to show all you medical people who are medically inclined... Those of you who are just in it for the money, well, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, this is it. Well, I, I, think, uh, I think we found the brain that we're after. That's the zombie brain now. Uh, we're going to tell you, tell you all about zombies now. We have some more of those quick flicks here. And uh, the zombie area is, is uh, on that brain. Wait, wait, I'll pull it back up again here. All right, got away. Well, what do we care? <laughs> we'll try this one. Right in there is where the zombieism uh, resides. That's part of your brain. And uh, you will find, I'm going to turn this off here because I have a feeling it's going to back up to the wire and uh, send me to eternity here. There we are. Right in there is where the zombie area is. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I've got my brain. I never, ever got my fingers stuck in a brain before. Doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> well, yes, my dear. We're going to show you now some, some, uh, some of the feature features of, of many old features, uh, how you do with zombies, you know, you medical people, please, please pay attention because you know uh, in all the brain research that's going on, that various sections of the brain control various uh, activities that you might engage into, and then later on we may get into sex or something, and something like that. Right now we're getting into zombies, uh, people who are, you know... Well, I... This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. The body should be disposed of at once, preferably by cremation. Well, how long after death, then, does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. If we're surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Are they slow-moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up.